Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we'll learn about how to solve integrals using the sum rule. If you're familiar with the sum rule used with the derivatives, then this rule should be a breeze for integrals. The rule says if you have two or more functions in an integrand being added or subtracted together, you can separate them and take the integral of them separately. Then you can add or subtract their antiderivatives together. This rule is nice to use when given a complex integrand. Let's see an example. We have the integral of 2x plus 8 with respect to x. We can see that there is a sum in the integrand, so we remember the sum rule. We split the integral into 2. Now we have the integral of 2x with respect to x plus the integral of 8 with respect to x. So first we'll take the integral of 2x. We keep in mind the constant multiplication rule and pull out the 2. We now use the power rule because we have the integral of x, which is x to the 1. Don't forget to multiply the function by the constant 2. Now we'll simplify and get x squared plus c. So we'll replace the integral of 2x with respect to x with it. Next we'll take the second integral, the integral of 8 with respect to x. We'll use the constant rule to solve this integral. We multiply x to 8 and add c. Now we'll replace the integral of 8 with 8x plus c. We can now simplify the solution to x squared plus 8x plus c because a constant plus a constant is still a constant. We'll check our answer by taking the derivative of the antiderivative and we get the integrand, so this is right. Last example, we have the integral of the square root of x minus 5x squared plus 11 with respect to x. We'll use the sum rule to solve this and split the integral into three integrals. First, we'll solve the integral of the square root of x. We can rewrite this as the integral of x to the 1 half. And now we can see that it's a power function, so we'll go ahead and use the power rule. This simplifies to 2 thirds times x to the 3 half plus c. We'll solve the next integral, the integral of 5x squared. We'll use the constant multiplication rule and pull out the 5. We can see that there is a power function inside the integral, so we'll go ahead and use the power rule. This simplifies to 5 thirds times x cubed plus c. And now we'll solve the last integral, the integral of 11. We'll use the constant rule and we'll times x to 11 and we'll add plus c. Now we'll replace the integral with their antiderivatives. We can simplify this to 2 thirds times x to the 3 halves minus 5 thirds times x cubed plus 11x plus c. And now we'll check our answer by taking the derivative of the antiderivative. We got our integrand, so this answer is right. The sum rule makes solving integrals easier, so for more help visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab.